home. Oh, well, wish is going to be granted, it looks like. I don't know what months to pay in you, but Canewood could start you out at 5G. And when did you shave your head? I don't care. Never mind. You're crazy. No, 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 no. What in the <laughs> A lot of uh, head removals in this movie. 24. 24. He called him 24. That's like the, uh, the X-24 thing. I was just like going along peacefully enjoying this like nice road trip they were on. They met a nice family. And then now it's like, oh yeah, it's this action <laughs> rated R superhero movie. I forgot. Beware the light. Oh no, no he's gone too. Oh, I feel like this is going to be an awesome fight. <laughs> what the hell are you? It's like a younger version of him and he doesn't heal as well anymore. Oh, oh my dude, that's like in his armpit. Oh man. Oh, take those claws. Is that the guy? Oh, he was still alive? Yeah, I don't think there's killing this guy. Shot him in his eye. Is he going to shoot him? He was actually going to do it. Why? Wow, he helped you. He's a good one. I guess he's like, you're the reason my family's dead. So I, okay, I kind of understand. And he was just shot, so. It's all right. It's all right. <sighs> yeah, see, he should have taken off his head. Hemostasis, angiogenesis, epithelialization, stromal cell proliferation. This will help you heal. Make you stronger. Is his eye coming back? Okay, this all here, none of this, no, no, exists though, okay, you understand me? This Eden does not exist, no, no, it's a fantasy, can you see that? She's all excited by it. Right now. Stop saying those names. Stop it. Stop. I forgot to close that back window, sir. <laughs> Is that all the kids? Oh. Those are the kids with the powers. Oh, that's cool. Where'd you get that? Where we came from. He gave it to us when we were to fight. It makes you stronger. Makes you... Ah. So that stuff that that other... 24 guy got No what it is That's what they buy inside of us That's why it can kill us Not all at once Oh huh. yeah that's the green stuff that was uh shot into the other the Bad Wolverine. Oh, running through the woods. That looks pretty Wolverine like. Oh no. He's gotta inject himself. They should have got some uh, bad guys with uh, powers. Probably be a better idea. <laughs> so you don't get arms chopped off like that. <sighs> A 
was pretty brutal looking. Dang, he's back. Oh shoot, there he is. Got some life back in him. Oh. That lunge was so cool. I like flew there and pinned him to the tree. That's pretty sweet. Oh, they're like teaming up. Whoa. Father and daughter uh, death match over here. <laughs> This tag team action is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe you knew my father on the Weapon X program. Yeah, he's the asshole who did this poison in me. The Weapon X program. Yes, you are. Throwing mutants of your own. Such so dangerous times, James. You can't. Oh, some quick action there. Oh, it's like elec electric powers. <laughs> Oh no, he's back. <sighs> he needs help from all those kids. Team up. <sighs> She's just going crazy on him. There you go. Team up. He's holding him down. Got the kid with the um, earth abilities. <sighs> Dang. Look at that. Just like he's a rag doll or something. Jeez. There you go. <sighs> Only got one shot for this. Assuming they're out of the green stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, he better not die too. <laughs> Don't be on me, Oh my gosh. That kid is gonna be absolutely traumatized by everything she's seen. This movie had the death of Professor X and Wolverine. Oh, he has a Wolverine doll. Oh, it became an X. I mean, like, I'm upset that Wolverine died, but that was a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool, like, visual thing to do. Is that it? Oh, man. That was a lot better than I thought a standalone X-Men uh, Wolverine movie would be. Um, that was just, like really emotional and really worked on like a dramatic level rather than just you know like action and superhero stuff the whole story was really cool like how um there's like a daughter version of wolverine she was a really good actress um and i wonder if that was her first movie it probably was it was pretty young i guess she could have been in other stuff but uh yeah that was just really good that whole thing um so that kind of like through line story was really interesting with like them trying to like start this thing with kids they ended up kind of abandoning that and started doing just like straight clones i guess i think that's what it was like the x24 but then i was thinking like how how they're going to defeat this new guy and they had the adamantium bullet so that was how um but 
yeah just uh okay so first thing that stuck out it is rated r and it definitely earned the r rating um there was like some language and stuff but then when it got to the violence i was like oh that's how it's gonna earn the, the r rating here so many just like crazy action scenes so many just like really cool shots like the one that i mentioned when he kind of like lunged forward that was just like just so satisfying to see um in, the, in a wolverine movie um yeah, it was just great, and part of it was just like a road trip movie. Um, that part really worked uh, worked really well, where like the villain uh, or villains weren't even in it for a while, and all of a sudden they came back, and I was just enjoying them on like a road trip. Um, it wasn't even really like very actiony for a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm wondering like what it would be going forward for X Men. Um, I guess there's the movies that are like set in the past, right? With like the X-Men as, as they were growing up. So I wonder if like that's still going to continue. Uh, maybe there could be like a Wolverine prequel or something, unless people just like want no more of Wolverine. Um, I would watch a Wolverine prequel just to see more uh, Hugh Jackman. If they could like de-age him, would that be really lame? I don't know. People probably wouldn't want that. But um, yeah, what else in the movie? Um, it was interesting how they did the... Um, the comics where they show like oh there's comics in this universe but they're they're based on their stories but of course they're like altered and changed or like exaggerated it's like oh that's how the comics fit in this movie um that they're like aware of that there's these comic books based on them i thought that was kind of cool um yeah pretty much every actor was really good in this like the two bad guys in this movie were were um were also really good at their roles you don't like them so they do their roles good <laughs> like what you're supposed to you know what you're supposed to feel but yeah they were they were good in the movie um not a lot of mutants i mean the kids were mutants but um you basically had logan professor x and the two bad guys weren't mutants uh, well x24 was he's kind of like a clone though and then you had caliban so i thought that was cool i was like kind of more minimal um like the superhero um or mutant power um aspect of the movie was kind of minimal uh, but the scenes that you know it had it in were still really cool so you had like his fighting scenes the scenes with like professor x having the like the seizure i mean you're not like happy he's having a seizure but like it was like a cool scene when everything stops and logan's trying to like fight through it and uh it was just like a really cool shot scene where everything was like kind of shaking um yeah i'm trying to think of anything else that was just really good it was like just it worked as a really good like movie it didn't even need to be with the x-men universe i mean it is obviously it's logan but what i mean is like it was just a really good standalone movie i think that can stand apart from the other stuff with just like a few references um yeah i really dug that just like really well written well directed well made like great story um gosh i wish we could get more of you know how that was for superhero movies but obviously if every time like a superhero dies at the end of it then uh well one that would get kind of you'd see the same thing every time and they wouldn't be able to have like franchises but for that character seeing him go from x-men 1 to now is like a great arc you know you can see that in the other marvel movies like with iron man uh, with tony stark going from iron man all the way up to um endgame um this had a kind of a similar i think he had like a similar arc going he was in a lot of movies uh wolverine um so to see him kind of um you know bid farewell at the end of this it was probably needed at some point you know like okay let's finally have an end to this character even though you don't want to for me it worked like that was a cool send-off after seeing him in a bunch of movies let me know what you guys think about the movie is there anything that i missed or didn't pick up on um i always like seeing in comment sections where people are like oh did you notice this or that so that's always kind of cool or if you just like the movie in, in general or not uh if you want to see the full reaction like i mentioned you can check out my patreon you can see the full uncut reaction also the tv shows that i react to also speaking of patreon shout out to john over on patreon who's just become a top supporter uh, really appreciate it and yeah just keep checking back here i'm gonna try to do movie reactions every single week here on youtube as well as some tv shows coming up some new tv shows really excited to check out uh thank you guys for stopping by leaving your comments comments. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.